I'm really hoping I'm not upside down right now. If I am, will you just let me know? <laughs> Hi, this is Michelle with Monday Matters. You can change your life if you just focus on one word at a time. And today's word is an active verb. It's a little different than what I normally do. Today's word is journaling. How many of you journal? Well, this week, I really try to listen to the things that come into my life when, hi Tracy, when I pick which word I'm gonna use. And for some reason, journaling was a huge part of my week this week. So today, I'm not only gonna share this word with you, but I'm gonna challenge you um, to do something maybe different than anything that you've ever done. So here's the thing. How many, how many of you have um, started the new year thinking, okay, I'm going to eat better, or maybe I'm going to get better organized, or I'm going to learn a new language or something? Well, how are you doing with that? Because journaling can help you improve all different areas of your life. And let me explain. So, so one of the things that I work at every week is journaling on what I'm doing and what I want to get better at. And so just to build myself on my growth journey. But let's say that you want to journal just for the sake of creativity. All of us could stand to be a little more creative. And oftentimes what's happened in your life is that you got older and you suppressed your inner child for so long that you just lost touch with your creativity. Journaling 10 minutes in the morning when you get up right away can help improve so many things in your life. So for instance, when you get up, you are just in a state where you just come from dreaming. It's, it's the time in your day where you are going to be more fluid with your creativity. That's proven, that's not anything I'm just saying. So when you get up in the morning, before you brush your teeth, before you do anything, focus on writing for 10 minutes. Now, it could be, oh, I have so much to do today, I can't believe I don't, I, I don't have time for this. Or it could be, hey, this is what I have planned for today and I wanna stay focused on this. So. So you can use this journaling to improve, it can be like an emotional journey. Let's say you're going through some very difficult time uh, in your life, you can use journaling every day to focus on that and help you spew your emotions on the page. Or you can use your journal to just stimulate creativity and tell stories. I have a friend who journals, she writes to her character. She's a novelist and so she journals to her characters every day. But you get to pick who or how you wanna journal and what your focus is gonna be. So here's the thing, I wanna ask you, do you wanna to commit to trying this journaling every day for at least 10 minutes? And if so, type I'm in in the comment section below. If you're in, then I wanna help you stay accountable to that. And I would love for you to be a part of my experiment to see how journaling can affect your life, can, can help you grow, can help you improve. Maybe you wanna get um, out of debt, maybe you wanna grow your business, but you know, how are you gonna do that? And if you journal every day, you become clearer on what that looks like to you. Something someone taught me is clarity attracts and confusion repels. So sometimes to journal helps me stay focused on what I am trying to achieve. And then I can go back and look and see my progress. So here's the thing, journaling can help you, um, it, it can help in a lot of, different ways. It can help you set goals. It, it can help you measure success. It's, it's kind of a recorded part of your history. So, and if, if you have, maybe you're already journaling. If so, just type below, I'm already in, and let me know how has journaling impacted your life 
positively, negatively, and how long have you done that for? Um, it's it's really a, a great tool for me. I found um, I find that when I journal consistently, I am so much more creative in other areas. Like one day, I was able to just sit down at the piano and play as if I heard that song, which I hadn't. I just created. So once we get into this creativity mode, it taps into our inner child and kind of lets it out. And it gives it permission to spread its wings. So how many of you are in? If so, leave a comment below. I want to encourage you to start journaling 10 minutes a day and see how that impacts your life in a positive way. God bless. Make it a great day.